Hola, how is everyone? I hope good. I am Sunny with Healing Power Divine Universe, and I am here with a reading on what is coming towards you that you do not see coming. Who's coming towards you? What situations coming towards you? What endings coming towards you? What is coming towards you that you do not see coming? Before I get started, I ask if you please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you're notified when I upload more videos, hit that like button, and share this video if you think others can benefit from my messages. If you would like to donate to my channel, there's a link below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Donate away. With that being said, um, I did clarify the each card with the Victorian Steampunk Tarot deck. I will be reading the meanings out of that deck because I find them to be very powerful and very um, accurate to what I am saying in the reading. Let's get started here. So what is coming towards you that you do not see coming? First card I pulled is finances. So there's some type of financial gain coming your way. If it is in a new career, a new business opportunity, or if you are going to be receiving maybe an inheritance or a property, something that is going to, to help you gain your finances. Maybe you've been struggling financially and... Um, Spirit is wanting you to know to st remain positive because whatever you have been waiting for is coming your way. And it's really going to help you gain your finances, really help you gain footage um, to be able to, you know, really progress in life and really go down the path that you're wanting to go down. Now, the finance card is clarified with the Six of Moths, which is the Six of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Six is a victory card when you triumph over past obstacles. It often predicts exam or legal success, completed projects, job interviews, promotions, and new contracts. This is a public victory and others appreciate and applaud your achievements. You deserve every accolade. Your instincts were right. So whatever your instincts have been telling you um, regarding your finances and maybe towards a job career, maybe you are seeking a new job, maybe you're unemployed and you're wanting to find a new job and you've kind of had gone through maybe a couple of different jobs that just were not fitting your energy or were not really where you were meant to be. Spirit is clarifying and telling you that you are right. Allow your intuition to keep guiding you because you are going to receive the financial gain that you do um, deserve. We have parental care. So, of course, parental care automatically brings to me, you know, to us that maybe you're going to have to provide parental care for one of your parents. Uh, if one of your parents is ill, I think that you will maybe step into that um, that position to to take care of this parent. Uh, maybe you are a parent that has been given maybe you're a parent that somebody has said wasn't a good parent um sorry i'm getting so many downloads right now i feel more that you are the parental parent and maybe your children are going to come in and give you some some love some kindness some gentleness Maybe your children have not done that for you in the past. Maybe you had your parental care rights taken away by, you know, DFS, by other family members, maybe by an ex-spouse. But I feel like with the parental care card coming out is what it's representing is that you are going to be able to step into that role again. The parental care card is clarified with the five of moss, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There are so many strong opinions around you now that you can't barely hear your own thoughts. This is a time when you are tested and there, are, there may be potential conflict, but as long as you stand your ground and check facts and paperwork, you will succeed. In families, younger children and teens may test their parents' patience. So again, this is saying that you, what I'm feeling is that something has came between you and your child. 
and I do feel like it's more of an adult child. Meaning, you know, I I look at teenagers as, you know, they're still not adults, but they're able to make decisions. They are, they're able to know what's right and what's wrong. Um, I feel that there's been a rift between you and your child or children that has been going on for more than six months is what I'm being told. There could be a legal court battle going on regarding this child or these children. And spirits wanting you to not let whatever distractions are going on regarding this are going on in your life to have you really see what the truth of this situation is, what the facts are. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. I notice like when I'm spot on, I sneeze. So that's an indication that this is a strong message for someone. I think your child has, has done something to disrespect you, disrupt your life. Maybe this child has um, lied about you. Maybe you're parenting. But again, people, I feel like we are in the time where all the truths are coming out. Whatever lies were told, the truths are finally being laid on the table. So what Spirit's wanting you to do is not to listen to anyone else's opinion of this. You have your own opinion. You know what's right and what's wrong, what the truth is. And really, honestly, just connect with the higher power. And the higher power is really going to guide you in the direction that you need to go regarding this situation. We have self-care. So if you are feeling your energy being very low, you're feeling down and out, you're feeling just depressed, you're feeling wore down from all the obstacles and challenges that you have faced, um, what Spirit's wanting you to do is to really start paying attention to that because I feel like you're not in a good space. I know my energy at this time is not in a good space. I have a lot on my mind. I have a lot going on. I know my emotions are going like a roller coaster. I just feel extremely wore down. I feel extremely defeated in a lot of areas of my life. I just feel very emotional and I just feel very exhausted. I mean, I feel like I could just sleep for days and days and days. But in reality, you know, in life, we're not able to do that. Unfortunately, we still need to get up and face each day and you know, do express the gratitude for the things that are going good in your life. Um, but at this time in my life, I, I tr truthfully feel like a tower has just hit me. And I'm seeing the light at the end of this tower, but I'm not able to reach it. And it's really starting to frustrate me a ton. So if you're feeling that same way, please comment below because I love when you comment. I love to hear that my messages resonate with people and it would be nice even for me to have somebody to talk to if, you know, if regarding this situation because at times people don't understand energy feelings if they're not connected to their own, you know, self-care, self-love, self-respect and their own energy. So, so the <clears throat> self-care, oh my gosh, card is clarified with the tower. Now, in your reading, the tower shows that an aspect of your life may suddenly end, a relationship, a job, or a way of living. This may be shocking or painful, but you now have an opportunity to examine your life and create a new structure. On a positive note, when the tower collapses, you let go of the stress that has been holding things together. This release of negative energy leads to a shift in your consciousness and letting go of the ego. So, there definitely, you're going to, something regarding your self-care is being hit, like I just explained in my life, I feel like I've been hit by this massive tower. Um, if you don't know very much about me, I'm an extremely psychic person. I am very connected to the higher power. Um, my spirituality means more to me than life itself. Um, I really allow my intuition to guide me in the decisions I make, and I really pay attention to my energy and the energy of those around me and how it affects me personally. 
I think what Spirit's wanting you to do is really take care of yourself at this time and kind of allow other people around you to step into their power, into their energy, to take care of themselves. I think that you have been on a very difficult journey that has just wore you out. And I think that Spirit's wanting you to really give yourself self-care right now. Meaning, if you feel like you need to sleep for two days, sleep for two days. Um, if you feel like you need to be alone, be alone. If you need to, you know, maybe go away for a couple days, if you can afford that, um, go away for a couple days. Do whatever it takes to, to really help you um, release whatever is holding you back from being able to really take care of yourself personally. Now, the planet for this is Mars, the tower, and this is destruction and release. So whatever is causing destruction in your life is what you're needing to release at this time. Let's see here. I have awareness. I think that you have really peeked into what is going on around you. I think that you're really making yourself aware of what is holding you back what is making you not feel yourself? The awareness of your energy and the awareness of other people's energy around you, which is very, very important. And people don't realize that. Um, you know, when we wake up in the morning and we feel off, it's because our energy is off. What we need to do is we need to go within and figure out what is causing us to have our energy not be balanced in the right, you know, light. What is pulling us down to the dark? What is keeping us afloat above it? Or is it the opposite? Be very aware of people's actions, what they're saying to you, the things you're finding out about yourself and about others, um, the people you're surrounding yourself with, and and just really, really pay attention to that because right now I feel like it is completely off, not only for myself, but for you. Are there people in your life that are trying to pull you down into their darkness? Remember, misery always loves company. Is it your mindset that is keeping you stuck? Do you need to go out in nature and spend some time in nature con connecting with Mother Earth? Connecting with the higher power to re, you know, rejuvenate your energy. Do you need to meditate to clear your mind? Do you need to sleep because you're just so exhausted you just don't have the energy to, to move forward at this time? Whatever it is, you really need to pay attention to, to the, you know, be aware of what is happening to you at this time. Um, me personally, I can feel that people are trying to psychically attack me. Um, I know a lot of black magic is being used to prevent people from moving on in a positive direction in their life. And when you when our energy is so off, you have to know that there is somebody or people that are probably sending you ill intentions, um, sending you psychic attacks, sending you black magic to stop you from moving forward. And the more aware of this that you are, the better that you can protect yourself. I definitely recommend that you um, you burn some sage. Uh, you might want to, again, spend a lot of time out in nature. And you really need to connect to your consciousness to be more aware of what is happening to you at this time. The awareness card is clarified by the Nine of Beetles, which is the Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Nine denotes a period of stress. You may feel vulnerable, be under intense pressure, or feel unfairly treated, which leaves you with anxious, runaway thoughts. This nine can also show disruptive dreams signified by the moon, planet, or by the subconscious. Take heart as this stressful time will pass. So again, I really recommend that you step into your power you go out in nature, you allow yourself to connect to the divine, to Mother Earth. Make sure that you um, you take your shoes off, you walk in grass, so then you are really connecting to Mother Earth. 
please uh, reach out to your angels, your guides, your ancestors for help at this time, for protection, of course, uh, maybe to help you or rejuvenate your energy. You can utilize them, you know, in a positive way. You can ask them for any type of help. If you're feeling really down, then you could definitely um, ask them to help you heal from this. If you're fighting any type of addictions, if, you know, you're your thoughts are running away with you. Just be aware of everything that you're thinking, the actions that you are putting out into the world and the actions that you're receiving back. Are they positive? Are they really what you want? Is it really benefiting your life? Um, you know, and so on. With that being said, I want to also, um, I lost a really dear friend of mine um, Saturday. I went to school with him. Uh, all through high school, and he was one of my best friends. His name was Steve Vosler, so I just want to incorporate that into my reading that he was just a very amazing man. He was always so happy, and he was very loving and caring. He put nothing less than unconditional love out into the world, and he is going to be very dearly missed. So I definitely want to... to keep his memory alive and just if by chance his family or someone that knows him is watching I'm sending so much love and healing towards each and every one of you and I just want the world to know that he was you know an amazing man and you know we gained a beautiful angel so and I know that him and his sister because his sister was also a really dear friend of mine and she passed away a couple years ago and um they're together now. I'm sure that they're drinking beer in their garage because they really enjoyed that. These two really enjoyed laughing. They both were unconditionally loving people. And they both were extremely very kind to me and just wonderful friends to me. And I'll never forget them. So, Okay, so the next card I pulled is Totally. Now... As you can see on this card, these people are totally free to do what they want. So what you don't see coming is that you're going to have this freedom. Maybe it's something that you wished on. Maybe it's um, freedom from your thoughts. You're going to have freedom from the situation that you have been going through for a long time. I think it's something that you have asked spirit for, you've been waiting for patiently. And what you don't see coming is that you're going to be able to finally to live in this freedom from whatever has been holding you back in your life. If it is people, um, if it's your family, if it's, you know, not taking care of yourself, if it's finances, um, even parental care, maybe you have been um, taking care of your parents for a long time and um, you, somebody else is going to step in to help you. Maybe with the financial gain that you get, you're going to be able to pay for this parental care for one of your parents, if you um, decide that it's too much because there's nothing wrong with that. Um, we, we feel that we have to take care of our parents, but in reality, you know, we if you can afford it, it's it's probably more healthier mentally and physically if you, you hire somebody to come in and do that. I think it is that you're going to receive total freedom when it comes to your finances. If you have been going through a situation with a child, I think that truth is coming out and it's going to set you free and also set your children free, I feel. And you're really going to focus on your self-care. Um, maybe you are getting older and you need to pay attention to what you're putting in your body. If it's drugs, alcohol, if you're not getting enough sleep, that isn't good. Um, maybe you need to exercise more. Maybe you need to go to a therapist and, and, you know, open up about the traumas that you've gone through in your life. Um, but I feel like you're going to be totally free from all of that. And I really think that whatever situation that you have been going through has really kept you bound for a very long time. And I think that the universe has recognized all the hard work that you've put into yourself. The changes that you've made, um, you know, I think you've grown into a person that is very strong and very, you know, strong will to keep moving on, to move towards things. I think you have a desire to have a better life, um, a better situation. 
I feel like you feel like you're stuck, maybe that you don't have the freedom that you're desiring, and I think that you're going to be um, set free from whatever that is because these people on this card are set free to me. Now, the totally card is clarified with the eight of beetles, which is the eight of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, revealing patient hard work and its rewards. What did I just tell you? This eight shows money coming to you and often shows the completion of an apprenticeship leading to a fulfilling career or project. Um, value is also important now. Value yourself and the skills you offer. You're being set free because you have finances or you have a job that is coming towards you. Maybe you're going to uh, further your education, I heard, uh, or take a professional course that's going to really lead you into whatever field that you're desiring, maybe towards finances, towards really being successful in your life. I do feel that there is money coming towards you because the first card was finances. So if that isn't with, you know, uh, inheritance or receiving a property, if it isn't, you know, through winning the lottery or, you know, however you would gain the, the finances that are coming towards you, th this is going to set you totally free. I think that you have struggled financially for quite a while. You could have had something taken from you that has set you back. It could be a situation with your children. But in reality, everything that we go through and every challenge that we face, every person that we lose to death or just lose in our life period is there to teach us a lesson, um, to show us you know, the, the answers that we're seeking. Everything that goes on in our life, there are hidden agendas, there are hidden knowledge for us to really seek out, for us to really gain and learn from what we go through. So even in the most difficult times, so we have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is happy news on emotional level. Uh, this could be regarding a child. This could be re regarding somebody offering you a cup of love. Um, again, I think that there is happy news coming towards you, and I think it is regarding your finances. It is regarding maybe a career. It could be regarding, you know, love that's coming towards you doesn't really have to be romantic it could be happening by the next full moon because there's a full moon there on the card maybe you're going to have choices in love because this woman as you can see she's her breast is hanging out so but she, there's two men she's reaching for this cup of love but he, you know he's looking also i don't know <laughs> there's two dolphins in the background there's going to be something coming back into your life that is going to offer you that cup of love. You're going to receive a message that I think is going to also totally set you free. I think freedom with almost every, I don't want to say every area of your life because, you know, nothing's perfect. But I feel like in almost every area of your life, you're going to be set free if you have been stuck or you've been struggling and or you've been worried about finances i think you need to know that you're being set free from whatever has been holding you back whatever has been binding you to the darkness the page of cups is clarified by the three of moss which is the three of wands aries leo sagittarius this is travel expansion and lots of activity are the gifts of the three you broaden your horizons exploring new realms both spiritually and physically Enjoy good fortune and new partnerships, along with midred opportunities, an inspirational educational course, artistic projects, and collaborations. A short trips away that bring you inspiration. So again, you are going to be able to, to travel and expand. You're going to be doing a lot of things that are going to really probably bring a lot of joy into your life. You are being granted freedom. Again, I want to really express that. You're being granted freedom from all the burdens that have been holding you down and holding you back in your life. And it's really going to push you forward in a very positive, a very, you know, fulfilling um, way. 
We have the Six of Pentacles. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is successful gains, sharing, gifting. So somebody might be gifting you something, or maybe you are going to have such successful gains that you're going to be able to gift other people, share you know, your wealth, your knowledge, your inspiration. Um, there could be somebody that is going to be doing that to you, that is going to help you be set free. That could be the finances that are coming in if you're like, well, I've never, you know, I, nobody's ever left me any money. Um, there's no properties. Uh, I'm not really seeking a new position right now. I'm working the same job that I'm struggling at. There could be this man coming in to offer you some, some freedom from whatever you have gone through in your situation, from whatever has been holding you back, whatever has been stopping you from really succeeding in life. That could also, to me, represent just the higher power gifting you something. And it could come in in a form of, you know, winning the lottery. Who knows? But, you know, I need to also look at that, you know, God gifts us, you know, the things that we do receive in life. And we need to remember that it all happens in divine timing. And I've said numerous times that I feel like divine timing is here. Make sure that you're waking up, you're giving gratitude for the people you have in your lives, for, you know, whatever is going on in your life, even the smallest things. Because when we truly do appreciate the things that we do have, um, spirit, you know, the higher power source, um, definitely see that we, you know, we deserve more, that we really appreciate it, that we see the small things that we have. So make sure that you're giving lots of gratitude. The Six of Pentacles is clarified by the Empress. Now, in your reading, the, or excuse me, the Emperor. I said the Empress. The Emperor. This could be a female or male, though. So maybe that was Spirit telling us that this is going to be you, female or male, stand, standing in your Emperor power after you know receiving these gifts. Or it could represent this Emperor coming into your life that is, you know, this is typically an authoritative type man. This is somebody that is like very stable. It's the emperor, for God's sakes. He's every king in the deck. He's the king of swords, the king of wands, the king of um, pentacles, and the king of water. So, I mean, he, he represents a very powerful person. So, um, in your reading, the emperor brings solutions and can represent an authoritative man who can provide help and advice. He may sometimes be domineering and stubborn, but... You can rely on him. If you are facing a difficult decision, he will be a good ally. Just take care to <clears throat> look closely at the details and don't be swayed by his forceful personality. If your question is about love, the emperor shows a future partner or husband. So we have the three of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is when you have completed a, you know, a project. This is co completion of the first stage in something. This is having victory in whatever you are trying to accomplish. Um, knowing that you are not only s setting things out of your life free, because you can see this bird's flying off him. He's setting him free, not holding on to him, not making him stay. Or it could be also be that um, this bird's about ready to land on him to connect, to bring you something. Look at all the details, always. All these, I can't tell, I'm sorry I don't have my glasses on, but um, all these birds are flying in, and it's they're all bringing something to this person. So you, you have achieved something very um, great in your life. You have achieved the first stage of a process of, you know, a project just keep moving forward in that positive way. We have the temperance clarifying the three of wands. The temperance represents, you know, healing, balance, um, having, being able to, to really uh, have compromise, put stuff to completion, um, to really allow the beauty to start coming into your life again. To balancing out to all the things that you've gone through that maybe you were working so hard in this completion here. 
In your reading, the temperance shows that there may be many things you need to manage in your life. Getting your life to work feels like a fi fine balancing act just now. Persistent effort, the ability to adapt, and attention to details will get you through. This card also predicts reconciliation between people. It provides a hopeful sign that you will be able to heal rifts and restore harmony in current relationships. So if, again, you're struggling in you know, relationships with your children, with your parents, with your family, with, you know, just the outside world. It is a card that is representing the healing in whatever you need to have healed with other people in your life. How heal your balancing, all that stuff. Make sure that you have um, compromise. You know, the temperance always represents compromise to me. We should always be able to compromise with anything and anyone in our life. Um... And if you're not able to, then they definitely, that situation or that person or those people don't need to be there. Um, if we can't compromise in situations, then, I mean, it, that makes it to be a very difficult, you know, kind of stubborn uh, situation. So <clears throat> make sure that you are releasing any of that and you're allowing the healing and balance to come back into your life. And, and I think that if you have been on the outs with other people, I think that's really been affecting your energy also and I think that there are going to be whatever rifts that you have you know if it's with your family you know your spouse with friends even with yourself it's going to heal and come into balance definitely we have wisdom you're going to be gaining more wisdom I think you know you're going to be able to share your wisdom with the world I heard that like you're finally going to be able to really project the wisdom that you have gained through with in whatever situation you've been going through i think your situation there was so much going on that you know people had their views on if who was you know their views in your situation so i think that a lot of people have shut you out um i don't think that you have been free to be able to to express yourself the way that you want to express the wisdom that you've gained throughout this entire situation that you've been going through. You're finally going to be able to really show the world your wisdom because I also see this, this world on this woman's stomach. I think people are seeing you as a very wise person. I think the world's seeing you as a person that has a lot of wisdom to share. You have a lot of knowledge that people don't know, or they do know, and they want you to share their wisdom with them. So that being said, the Wisdom card is clarified by the Strength card, Sign of Leo. In your reading, Strength heralds health, patience, and moral fruition. It indicates desire for peace and to protect others, and a commitment to others and projects. It reminds you that faced with a difficult opponent, confrontation and force are not the answer. It is much better to show compassion and grace. You can succeed if you have and are patient. If you have a question about your health, strength reveals recovery and energy. So maybe, you know, if you've been questioning your health lately, maybe your mental health, um, just know that you're um, going to recover and your energy is going to be regained. Again, you have the strength now to share your wisdom is what I'm getting from this. Um, these two cards. Um, maybe you have wisdom that other people don't have and people don't understand or didn't understand how you were receiving this energy. Um, maybe they're wanting to to share you to share your wisdom on how to recover from addictions, um, recover from any type of abuse, sexual, mental, physical, um, you know, just wisdom that you've gained through everything that you've gone through. The thing is, is it took me a long time to really look back at my life and know that even though I was in so much pain for so long and I've gone through difficult journeys and I'm still in pain, I mean, I'm still healing from what I've gone through in my life. And it's been you know 
very rewarding, but it's been very hard and it's been very exhausting. So, but you're going to be able to share your wisdom and you, Spirit wants you to know that you gain this wisdom by strength, by having the strength and courage to keep moving forward. And you're now being rewarded for having that strength. And your wisdom is very, very powerful here. And it needs to be shared with the world. We have service. You're going to be providing service. What you don't see is that even though this woman's sick, Maybe you have been providing a service and you're going to be rewarded for that. If you have been sharing your wisdom in any way, you can share your wisdom by speaking to people. You can share your wisdom by um, a YouTube channel. You can share your wisdom by Facebook, any type of social media. It's so easy to connect to the outer world now because of technology. I feel that you are a very wise person. And if you see this or not, um, that what, again, whatever difficult situation you've gone through, even though it's been extremely emotional and just dramatic and just painful and whatever else, um, you're going to be able to provide service because of it, because of the wisdom that you gained, which I believe that you, you are the type of person that likes to do that. You like to see people happy. And I think that you like to see people happy and you want to, you know, you are happy, but um, you, you've you seen so much sadness in your life and you've gone through so much and you have really, again, gained the wisdom that is really going to be able to provide service to other people and help them. Now, the service card is clarified with the high priestess, sign of cancer. You're going to be able to provide your wisdom, your service, because you're the high priestess. Again, what I just got done saying, people are very intrigued by you because you have so much knowledge. You have so many secrets that you have gained throughout this entire journey through your connection with the higher power. You are, you, you are a badass. You just truthfully are. I'd love to really project that onto the high priestess because the high priestess and the high priest have gone through the difficult journeys. They have felt their pain. They have been through tremendous pain in their life. But the ones that are so broken are the ones that truly can make a difference in this world. And that's what people don't recognize. That, you know, yes, this person could have been a drug addict. This person could have been an alcoholic. This person could have been, you know, a sex addict. This person could have been mean. This person could have been a bully in school. But this person has grown so much and has taken all that pain and all that sorrow and all the disappointment and all the deception and hidden agendas, all the slander, everything that's been done to them, they've taken all of that and grown into this tremendously beautiful person that is so knowledgeable that probably the government's going to be knocking on their door because they want the knowledge that they know. This person is connected directly to source. This person gets their messages and is showing what they need to see by God himself. Uh, let's see here. In your reading, the high priestess asks you to rely on your intuition. Rather than facts, you, you may discover secrets. She may also represent education, a good mentor, what I just got done fucking saying, um, and spiritual development. You might soon connect with a spirit guide, pay attention to your dreams and other messages from your sixth sense, trust your knowing. Perfection. Perfection's coming into your life. Things are going to start going in a more positive, perfect way for you. Perfection, happiness, love.
because your wisdom and your service is going to help other people know that your help, your wisdom, the words you say are going to provide a service to them to help them heal. I feel like you've gone through so much in your life. You have, of course, not all the answers, but your wisdom is so amazingly strong because not only are you extremely connected to source, but you're an intelligent and extremely fucking amazing strong person. We're not talking that, you know, you were just abused when you were a child. I feel like a lot of you were sexually, mentally, physically abused. I think that people have abused you throughout your entire fucking life. I think that you, there has things been done to you that people have no fucking idea. Um, but you have survived it you've never broken your connection with the higher power you never gave up on having perfection in your life and because of that you are being rewarded like extremely rewarded the perfection card is the queen of swords this is uh libra to me the Queen of Swords is a no-nonsense type queen. She doesn't put up with shit. She'll cut anything and everything out of her life. So I think that you have done that also to gain this perfection. And you're not going to settle for anything less. If somebody's trying to give you lemons and you want oranges, you're just going to cut that person out. Because you're not, you, you are the high fucking priestess. You've been through so much in your life that you're ready to have total fucking freedom. And that's what spirit's going to give you. That's what's being hidden from you. The Queen of Swords represents determination, charm, and a strong intuition. She is a good omen of success, particularly in business or in careers that require mental mental acceptance, excuse me. As a person, as she, as she can be a lone woman who is tough, independent, and brave, show your mental heart, show your metal heart, excuse me. Um, she is a queen bee in, of her hive, and her needs usually come first because she loves herself first, always, no matter what. She wants perfection and she is not going to settle for anything less and not in a not in a not like in an egotistic type way it's she knows what she deserves because she's been through so much in her life she knows that she never gave up hope of having this perfection in her life she is very connected to the higher power the higher power is going to reward her for all that she's gone through. And I feel like it's coming soon. We have the tower again. The tower came out twice in this fucking reading. There is going to be a tower that hits. Now we all know that the tower is caused by the universe when something is built on a false foundation in your life. The tower doesn't always have to be so dramatic. It doesn't always have to be something that we fear because the tower always provides us the opportunity to rebuild and rebuild on a firm foundation. The tower is clarified with the queen of Moss, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This queen, you know, knows her worth. She is capable and practical, practical, excuse me, She's warm, she's cheerful. Um, she, what it could be representing is a tower is about ready to hit a, a fire sign. I feel like this Queen of Wands um, 
is about ready to be hit with this tower and you don't see it coming, nor do they. I think this Queen of Wands is somebody that was causing you a lot of the pain and shit that you've gone through in your life. Um, I think this Queen of Wands has portrayed you in the wrong light. This could be somebody that has taken something from you. I'm hearing all out of envy and jealousy and trying to hide deep, dark, hidden secrets. Her world's about ready to be ripped apart, is what I'm hearing. And she does not see it coming. Whatever lies, whatever things that she's done to you or has done to create what you've been going through, that's confirmation because my phone just dinged. Um, this this uh, fire sign's life is about ready to be pulled down under. This also represents Aries and Torres, and it was clarified by an uh, Aries card by the fire sign. So I do believe it's an Aries. I do. I think that this Aries is this Queen of Wands. And this Queen of Wands, her life's about ready to fucking just crumble. And when I say that, her life's going to crumble. And her karma is that she will never dig out of it. That she'll never be able to rebuild her life. And if it's something that she's done illegally, or it's something that can be punished by legal action, she is going to prison for a very long time. We have the devil, sign of Capricorn. The devil's been lurking over your teenage children. And in this reading, I honestly feel like the devil could be a Capricorn, could be involved in it. Offering your teenage children money, treats, trying to say that they're going to have the good things if they follow the devil. These are also addictions. Anything that we do too much of, if it's sex, if it's gambling, if it's eating, if it's overthinking, um, you know, drugs, alcohol, anything and everything that we do too much of is an addiction and that binds us to the devil. There could be other people around you that were promised money, promised, you know, tree, you know, whatever, if they did something wrong to you. But this devil has been caught along with this queen of wands. The devil is clarified with the seven of dragonflies, which is the seven of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is a time of great potential. Anything is possible. Although ideas and opportunities are vague, so you cannot see which options are truly viable or which are fantasy, there is a sense of anticipation now as you reach a turning point, but you will need more detail before a decision can be made. The last card I pulled in the reading is the Four of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is rest and recovery after a strain. After a situation that has really weighed you down for a long time, what you don't see don't you see coming is that you're finally going to have freedom. You're going to be able to rest and recover from the shitty situation that you've been stuck in in a long time. You're being set free, and you are going to be set free in every area of your life. I do believe a lot of it is in finances. I think whatever situation you've been in has really hindered your financial gain, has maybe, you know, taken a lot from you, people might have stolen from you, whatever the fuck your case is. But I do feel like you're finally going to have the freedom that you deserve because of the battle, because of the things you've gone through in your life. The um, Four of Swords is clarified with the King of Bees, which is the King of Swords. This is an Aquarius card to me. This is an authority type figure. This is somebody in uniform connected to the government, to the law. Um, I think that 
you are having rest and recovery from this king. Because I also believe that this king represents the devil that came before that card. I think this king of swords is going to be taken out of your life um, if he has not already. Or this king of swords has been arrested or is going to be arrested. I think this is somebody that has abused their power throughout your entire life. And it really, you really need this rest and recovery because it has just tore you down time and time again. I feel like you are just extremely fucking exhausted, like mentally, physically, and emotionally. And what you don't see coming is that you are going to be able to break free of all that. With that, see, with that being said, if I could talk, I'm sorry. Um, that is what I have for you today. I hope that it resonated with you. If there was bits and pieces, please just take those bits and pieces, leave the rest. Don't try to make any reading, tarot reading, fit your situation. I love you all so very much. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Peace.